one, a masterpiece. <laughs> Uh, my name is Gilles Samoun. I'm the CEO, founder and CEO of uh, Sales Machine. Um, I've been in the SaaS industry for uh, now 22 years, five years. Uh, uh, actually, my first SaaS company was in 2000s. And that's, uh, that's where uh, we started to, I started to uh, imagine the way to uh, understand my customers uh, through a SaaS platform. And that's the that's the start uh, of uh, of sales machine. Sales machine is a SaaS platform uh, which uh, uh, enable other SaaS platform to manage all the post sign up of their customers. As soon as the customers sign up, we collect the data from uh, the SaaS platform, but also from CRM, uh, Salesforce, HubSpot, but also Zendesk, Intercom. We collect all the data into a sales machine. And we have a scoring engine, which is capable of uh, identifying the customer behavior and uh, enabling the salespeople to manage, the, to qualify the leads from uh, and to convert them into uh, paying customers, but also for customer success to manage the onboarding uh, to the renewals, to the, to the churn. And this together with uh, analytics and automation, we are uh, able to generate uh, uh, to reduce the churn, to increase the conversion, and to generate, at the end, more revenues. PLG uh, is, uh, is evolving, and uh, uh, the, the PLG has been there for a very long time. Actually, it was not named a PLG, and uh, you know, since a couple of years, uh, the PLG concept has, uh, has grown. And uh, really, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the idea is to uh, understand the customer behavior and then to adapt the software or to adapt the sales behavior uh, to, uh, to the, the customers to better serve them to, and at the end for the vendors to be able to uh, increase uh, the, the retention, uh, the conversion, the retention, and uh, at the end, the, 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 the revenues. So the, the, the PLG is becoming a need and a must have now uh, in, the, in the SaaS business. Uh, uh, it's really becoming uh, a buzzword, that's for sure. Uh, but there, there, there is some fundamental behind, and there is some uh, some uh, some some meat uh, in a sense that uh, 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 the, the the meaning of PLG is really to uh, understand the, the customer behavior and then to be able to generate action through the life cycle. Uh, I think that there are uh, many companies today which have proven. Uh, that uh, a PLG, even if it was not called PLG uh, uh, at that time, uh, uh, to be a very, very efficient. Zoho, HubSpot, Slack are the, the, known, uh, the, the, the known company, but there are plenty of others which are capable of uh, uh, managing and, and their customers uh, through, through, the, through the product. And that's also the, the way for the product to improve. I mean, and somehow, in another, not, in another field, which is not purely SaaS, but which is e-commerce, uh, if you go uh, to Amazon, Amazon is PLG because the homepage of Amazon will adapt to your needs because Amazon knows that you are interested in certain things and then they will adapt the homepage and they will adapt other page and they will adapt communications to fit your need and basically at the end to sell you more. Qualified lead is the combination between the customer fit and the product adoption. The customer fit is the, uh, a way to qualify your, your customers, like uh, his age, his sex, uh, his uh, uh, you know, lo uh, location, country, city, whatever. So uh, the fit, the customer fit is something which will not change and data that we're collecting. The customer adoption is the behavior of the customers within the product and how the, the customers will understand and will perceive the best value of your product during his uh, journey. And, uh, and the, that's what we call the haha moment. If you have the, 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 the combination with these two, uh, two, uh, two, two metrics, you can, you can have and define the a product uh, that the lead is qualified. 
and then that will lead to uh, the end to uh, a purchase. I think that uh, there is a, a common understanding that uh, uh, product-led uh, sales uh, will be used essentially uh, uh, with uh, freemium and, uh, tri and product trials. Really, the idea is to uh, free the customers of having conversation with sales to try to, 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 to help them to understand the product through different uh, methods like uh, emails, like uh, uh, in-app, and etc. So basically, to let them uh, discover uh, the product and then at the second stage uh, to have uh, an interaction with the customers. Uh, we have, you asked me before, uh, if it's a marketing, if a product-led is a marketing buzzword. That's uh, partially yes, because uh, today uh, a, a business which is only managed through sales, uh, which is not a problem, but that could not be called a product-led uh, uh, sales approach. The product-led sales approach will mean that you let you let the customers free of using the product, and then you uh, you you uh, you engage with them. I will be at B two B Rocks, and I will be speaking about and uh, try to evangelize on the product led, product led sales, and product led customer success. Mm -hmm.